but when it comes to growing oil palm i i can say that bob is not only the leader in in ghana but even in africa in terms of best management practices Benso Oil Palm Plantation Limited, now PLC, um, is an agro-based company. We cultivate oil palm and produce palm oil for further processing and value addition. In terms of production, we are in the peak of the second generation. We have gone through the phase up to maturity and we have restarted the company. Employees on the company's payroll are just about 500 and in addition to that we have small businesses businessmen and women and companies that provide services farm services some are transporters others are harvesting contractors others are maintenance contractors they also have their employees who work for them and so if we count back and add all these people who are also numbering about a thousand two then in total direct employment we are counting a thousand seven hundred now there's also another 438 households and farmers who are members of our smallholder scheme now we don't like to call them employees because they themselves also employ others to work for them so the cascading effect i can say thousand seven hundred plus another 438 with the multiplier effect of those they also employ. Within last year and this year, the tax that we have paid is around 5 million Ghana cities. Uh, this doesn't include um, employees' uh, um, income tax and things. This is just the corporate tax that we pay. In the community that we are located, we have a school, which is one of the best schools in the region. The enrollment is about a thousand and 25 percent of this number comes from the community around us so that gives the communities around us the opportunity to also have the best kind of education that we can have this is a very sustainable kind of partnership of corporate or investments with the community people whereby the community people are not just workers but they are actually part owners of the business and we have a local team that is technically competent so all these constitute a huge selling point for bob as compared to our competitors um, all our oil from here goes to wilma africa the refinery in tema the main product that comes out of the palm oil is the fried oil cooking oil so most of the soap manufacturing companies in ghana including women's own soap plant now where jamal soap is made previously it used to be key soap when we we're under unilever now jamal soap so all of these are coming from the palm oil that we produce here and margarines uh, previously blue band now new ones are coming in oil palm plantation agriculture is labor intensive and in Ghana, we have enough and it's sometimes even more than enough um, labor to employ. So the market is also there. And that market is not only just in Ghana, it is in the whole sub-region. And now it's even wider given the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Agreement that has come into force. We are listed on the Ghana Stock Exchange. And that keeps us also quite visible and also being a company that espouses sustainable production they don't only come with costs but they come with benefits because our parent companies from Unilever's era to Wilmer's era have always been foreign companies uh, with partnership with local investors we have agreements you call TTAs certainly GIPC has been useful and helpful in helping us to structure these agreements so that they are legal, legally recognized and when we have to make any transfers we don't have any problem with the law. In thanks to GIPC, the number of times we have come into the Ghana Club 100 has actually helped to um, put us out in the place for others to see. Invest in Ghana, 
Grow in Ghana, grow with Ghana.